guys, my name is Agnes. <laughs> this is my baby girl Amelia, and we are here today to talk about the Bugaboo B5 stroller. Uh, this video should be especially helpful for any of you who are hesitating between getting this this Bugaboo B5 stroller or any other type uh, that's available on the market. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about a few features that I really like about it and some of the things that I'm not the biggest fan of. So let's start. Um, my favorite feature will be definitely the um, reversible seat. Um, not so many uh, lightweight strollers actually have this option um, of changing the seat from uh, uh, ward facing to parent facing. And this was actually the main reason why I got it in first place. Uh, it's because my, my baby girl really needs to see me all the time. Uh, even now at the age of uh, 19 months, uh, I still have to um, keep changing the positions now and then. So let me show you quickly how to do it. Mm, it's really simple. Uh, you see this little white plastic handle, I would call it. What you have to do is to push it up and pull, push the seat forward, just like that. And then it's ready to change the position. You just take it up and you, you're gonna aim at those plastic white things here until you hear a click, okay? And you pull it again back backwards. Sometimes it does get stuck, uh, but it's a matter of getting used to it. So there you go. Now it's in a part face parent facing position. Voila. Another thing that I really like about this model is uh, the handlebar. It's really easy to just make it longer or shorter. And the brakes. I would call them flip flop friendly. Oh yeah, there you go. Now she's helping me. One second. So you just push it here and up. And Right, another thing are uh, the reclining positions. You want to hop on? So, to recline the seat, again, you use the, um, the white handle I just showed you before. And now it's a, let's say, I would call it middle lying position and a fully, fully lying down position so your baby girl or <laughs> baby boy can sleep safe and sound while you're having a stroke and of course I cannot forget about the sun canopy really really great thing uh, covering your child fully even when uh, she or he is lying down uh, but in a sitting position as you can see it basically covers your child fully uh, so if there's any sun or, or wind, uh, your child is protected. Okay. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, another cool option is uh, the fact that you can uh, buy basically um, anything as an additional extras, uh, so to speak, uh, to the stroller. So from cup holder, snack tray, foot mouth, uh, seat liner. You can also change the sun canopy if you just want to fancy another color or whatever. Mm, you can get anything uh, to it. So it's is really a fun thing to have. So you can also customize it. Uh, so if you're bored with, a, with the look of your stroller and you want to, you want it to look a little bit more fancy, uh, I advise you to even get a limited edition. They have really nice patterns out there. Uh, yep. Yeah. Anyway, maybe let's move on to the things that uh, I'm not the biggest fan of. So, what that will be, it will be a basket. And uh, maybe it's not about the size of it because I would call it quite okay size. Um, it's just the way you can access it. You see, now my baby girl is in a parrot facing position, and I cannot put anything. Um, in here, I'll have to roll the stroller. This thing down over there. Safe. And now I can access it from here, right? You can see like that. 
Now, uh, when your child is sitting in a um, world facing position, uh, her legs would be here, right? So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to uh, lift up the seat uh, and the legs of your baby to be able to put an, any groceries inside. And that's uh, like a pain in the ass, I would say, because if your baby is sleeping, um, it is gonna wake him or her up. So it's not a very convenient thing. Uh, but the size, as you can see, it's not too bad. You can easily put a bag of shopping. Uh, but if you feel like it's too small, because of course there are other strollers with much bigger basket, uh, what you can do is to get those clippers, they're easily available on Amazon, and just hook any kind of bike you want. That's going to solve the problem. Uh, one more thing that uh, I don't really like uh, is, be careful, are the small wheels. I mean, um, you know, this is a thing uh, with lightweight strollers. Uh, it's hard to, to find any of them with big and massive wheels that will, you know, be okay on any type of ground. So guys, the last thing I want to show you is how the Bugaboo B5 looks when it's folded. And here it is. Maybe it doesn't seem, uh, it's, um, you know, it's really compact, but it's, it's fairly small uh, when folded. And the only thing is that it will not stand by itself. There's no stand for it. So you're gonna have to maybe put it somewhere by the wall. Um, but it's also, uh, it's, it's light enough. It's not the lightest because I know there are other strollers that weigh, I think six kilos. And this one is uh, nearly nine, it's eight or nine kilos. Uh, but as, I, as you see, I'm not like a muscular person. Uh, uh, I can easily lift this up by myself. There you go. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. Maybe the last thing is that uh, it's a great uh, stroller to have if you live in a busy city like London, because it's the place where you have to kind of operate between narrow streets or shops. Um, Yes, and it's uh, definitely a good quality. Uh, it's built to last like they say. It really pushes nicely uh, There's no heavy uh, Heavy feeling of, of a pushing, you know, like a, a big bulk uh, types <laughs> yeah. And yeah, if you like this video, please uh, Press the like button and also if you want to know more about the Boogaboo B5 stroller uh, Just uh, click the link in the description Mm, that will direct you to my uh, blog okay uh, take care guys i hope you enjoyed this video bye